volleyball is a popular sport, but sometimes it can be painful. It is important for a volleyball player to understand the pieces of equipment that will prevent injuries and bring success during the activity. In today's video, we are going to talk about the different equipment used in the volleyball game. The first one is the volleyball. Volleyballs come in many colors and sizes. These are made with a variety of materials and are designed for either indoor or outdoor play. The volleyball is 25 to 27 inches in circumference and must weigh from 9 to 10 ounces and is inflated to 4.26 to 4.61 PSI. The ball is the single most important piece of equipment in the game. A good ball will alleviate pain caused by hitting it over the net or between teammates. If a game is being played indoors, a leather ball will work best. It cannot be used outside because it may become wet and damaged. A cloth ball may be used as well. The next equipment is the volleyball net. A regulation net is 1 meter wide and 9.5 meters long. It's constructed of 10 cm or 4 inch square mesh. The antenna on the net are flexible rods made of fiberglass. They are 1.8 meters long and 10 millimeters in diameter. The upright poles used to hold the nets should have padding as does the official stand. The volleyball net is placed directly above the center line, 7 feet and 4 inches above the ground for women and 8 feet above the ground for men. The next volleyball equipment are the knee pads. Knee pads should be sturdy enough to protect your knees from falls, slides, and dives, but flexible enough to allow you to bed comfortably. Your volleyball knee pads must be made of fabric that breeds and manages moisture. Good quality pads have a gel or foam shock absorbing material that will cover and protect your patalia. It is best to purchase your pads from a reliable sporting goods store that will allow you to try them on. The next equipment is the volleyball shoes. Arc and ankle support is key when choosing a volleyball shoe. This must be lightweight, allowing you to be faster on your feet as well as bearing good shock absorption on your toes. Volleyball shoes also provide for better lateral movement than typical running or cross-training shoes. The last one is the volleyball uniform. All clothing should be lightweight to allow maximum flexibility and breath ability as well as made of a material that absorbs sweat and keeps skin dry. The volleyball uniform consists of a top and bottom or sometimes a one piece. The top and bottom piece must be of like or coordinating colors. The custom volleyball jerseys must be skin tight but cannot expose the midriff and it must be long enough to be tucked into or hang below the waistband of the bottoms. That's it! Those are the basic equipment used in volleyball.